Over the last year, I've been staying at home a lot with the stay-at-home orders. While I've been at home, I've also been looking at some of the old photos and videos from old trips that I've taken in the past, and these were before my YouTube days. I've been amazed at how much things have changed in such a short amount of time. Everything in this video is different, and the places and the trains that we're going to see all belong in the past now. Denver's Union Station, that's had a total remodel, bringing it into the 21st century. And the Rio Grande Ski Train is now Amtrak's Winter Park Express. Sometimes you just can't go back to the places you've been as time marches on and things change. Let's listen to the sounds as the ski train arrives into the station at Winter Park for the return to Denver. The video of the Rio Grande ski train that we're seeing now was taken in the summer of 2007. A little bit about the ski train is that it was created in 1940 to run between Denver and Winter Park. And this train ran continuously from 1940 until 2009 when the service was discontinued. A few years later, the train was relaunched as Amtrak's Winter Park Express. And it runs today. I remember this weekend well, as I was in Denver for a conference. I had a free weekend and I decided to take the ski train up to Winter Park before I flew on to Orlando for a conference the following week. And if you can believe that, after my conference in Orlando, I flew to Napa, California for a water polo tournament. It was a crazy two weeks. As the train leaves Winter Park, we enter the Moffat Tunnel. The Moffat Tunnel was opened in 1928 and it crosses under the Continental Divide. It's a 6.2 mile long tunnel and it's the second longest tunnel in the United States, behind the New Cascade Tunnel in Washington State. Growing up in Denver, I have memories of taking the ski train on the weekends for ski lessons at Winter Park or the Idlewild ski areas. We also used to take the Rio Grande Zephyr from Denver to Glenwood Springs where we'd soak in the hot pools. Those were fun trips. After leaving Winter Park two hours ago, we've arrived into Denver on time. I hope you've enjoyed the video of the ski train. Both the train and Denver Union Station have changed. That's the name of progress, but sometimes it's fun to go back down memory lane and see what was. 